In the world of professional video and audio production, it's really common for video and audio to be recorded separately. A camera or dedicated video recorder will contain all the video files, while a separate multi-track audio recorder will contain all audio files. There are a number of methods of merging video and audio back together in a post-production environment. Through the proper application of timecode, other more labor-intensive and time-consuming methods can be avoided, thus streamlining this critical and necessary step. In this video, we're going to explore timecode, its application, the various timecode frame rates, and timecode modes. Timecode is a clock that counts in frames. With timecode-capable audio and video recorders, clocks can be synchronized so that the timecode values are identical on each device. Clocks can be either electronically connected or synchronized and run independently. Synchronizing two clocks to run independently is called jam syncing. While there are other methods of syncing sound and picture, for instance using a slate or some other visual reference, manual syncing is time and cost intensive. Timecode relies on incredibly precise clocks. Two high precision timecode clocks which have been jam synced will maintain timecode ensuring matching timecode values. At some point the two clocks may drift. Drift is the rate at which two timecode values slowly become different. The more stable the timecode clock, the longer the clocks can run separately and maintain timecode synchronization. Periodic rejamming or resyncing these separate clocks is standard. On a timecode display, the frame portion indicates the frame number. The timecode frame rate setting determines how many frames are counted each second. The list of all common timecode frame rates are shown here. It's really important to note that the timecode frame rate may not be the same as the video frame rate. While these are directly related, these rates may be different. Timecode modes. Free run timecode mode. Free run is continuously counting timecode values regardless if a device is recording or in standby. Free run is the most commonly used timecode mode in double system production. Record run timecode mode. Record run is a mode that only outputs forward moving timecode while in record mode. Once record mode is stopped and the recorder enters standby mode, the timecode generator will no longer output forward moving timecode. External timecode mode. External timecode mode requires an external timecode source. This mode can be used to bypass lower quality internal timecode circuitry and replace its timecode signal with one generated by higher precision timecode hardware. External timecode auto record mode. External timecode auto record mode is essentially the same thing as external timecode mode but designed to be paired with a master device using record run timecode mode. In this mode, timecode is used to automatically start and stop record mode on the slave device. When a device in this mode recognizes forward moving timecode, the device will automatically enter record mode. When forward moving timecode stops, the slave device will stop recording. This is very useful to remotely control a recorder from an external record run timecode enabled device. So timecode is a clock that counts in frames that we can use to synchronize multiple video recorders or multiple audio recorders. In the Sound Devices product line are 7 series 702T, 744T, and 788T multi-track audio recorders our 664 production field mixer, and our PIX240i and PIX260i production video recorders all contain precision timecode circuitry. To learn more about these products, visit the Sound Devices website.